What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike. And Tyler. And this 562 Classic video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, currently open for takeout and outdoor dining. Please support the people who support Long Beach sports. This classic recall of a Cabrillo Liquid football game originally brought to you as part of our partnership with Gazette Sports, now brought to you as part of our partnership with the Long Beach Post. You may remember Coach Jason Brown from such Netflix documentaries as Last Chance You, but before that, he vastly improved the Cabrillo football program in a variety of ways. Yeah, back in 2013, Brown used that wide open offensive style and a lot of really good looking gear to lure talent away from other schools in the area. So when they played more league teams, everybody knew everybody. This game was for second place, one of the most momentous games in Cabrillo football history. And it was not exactly the cleanest football we've ever seen, but it was perfectly thrilling as the fourth play of the game is an interception. Daniel Dingman with the INT back down to the one yard line but the Lancers were in a giving mood. Their third play is a fumble, and so you just kind of got the feel that this game was gonna be weird and possibly close, and it was. Special teams, very special tonight. Rare to see a punt return not called back in a Cabrillo versus Lakewood football game, but this line drive punt is perfect for Gerard Stevens. Look at the hezzy taking it back 75 yards to the house. This was one of those games that uh, you felt like might be decided on a game-winning <laughs> special teams touchdown. It was just wild from start to finish as these classic videos have been. Lakewood loves seeing Scroggins throwing the ball back in the day, but here's the younger brother, Jaron Scroggins, with the interception return to the one-yard line, and then Rico Martin is going to bounce it outside for the touchdown. I just, you know, but let's take a look at the controlled chaos that was the Cabrillo sideline. That was a fun sideline to hang out on. Penalties killed the next Lakewood drive. Over 200 combined penalty yards in this one. Just regular for these two teams. And then Keith Price to Darren Gardenhire for the big play. G-Man was a dude on this team that year. Yeah, this was this game was a little bit of a coming out for, party for uh, for Darren Gardenhire, who played at Lakewood previously. He, look at this crazy pitch to Ricky Moland, who's going to skip to that lane as he <laughs> and one getting into the end zone. A dribble drive like LeBron, and that was a top 10 play because that was a weird touchdown. It was, it, was, it was a crab dribble. No traveling, no double dribble there. Garden Hire coming up big on defense as well. This was the G-Man special. He was all over the field on this, and the Jags take a 14-6 lead at halftime. Lakewood freshman quarterback came in Curtin. What a huge talent he was. Buying time, hitting Andrew Smith, who always got yards after the catch, first completion of the game on third and long. And just to give you a sense of the history at stake here, Cabrillo's never beaten Lakewood at this point in school history. So that's one of the reasons all these guys are playing with such pride as you see the up and over from the big freshman. Fourth down, Shane Spree will scoring the game tying touchdown. What a drive, two huge third down pickups and then a fourth down touchdown. So we got about eight minutes left in the third. A lot of defense in this game. It made it a lot easier for me to shoot this, keep stats, tweet and write the article because at this time we worked for a paper on deadline and deadline was usually minutes after the final whistle. So I'm actually in the stands instead of on the sideline where we usually like to be. Yeah, you may not know this, but we work hard during football games. Uh, Look like we were going to overtime. A minute and a half left, Price is going to find Rush. Rashid Johnson, uh, wide receiver, ended up going to USC. Next play, Price looking for it all, but overthrows Scroggins. However, a flag comes in for pass interference. Now on the goal line, credit Lakewood's defense, keeping the Jags out of the end zone and forcing what we thought was going to be a game-tying field goal try, but uh, no, that would have been too normal for this game, right? If you've ever covered Darren Gardenhire uh, or Jason Brown, nothing about this is surprising. G-Man calls his own number for the game-winning touchdown. Uh, Jason Brown said afterwards, he reads it and the snap was high. Uh, no, it was not high. <laughs> G-Man knew before they huddled up he was going to call his own number, and uh, that was the freedom that guys had in that Jason Brown program. That was one of the reasons guys were transferring in there to play for him, and what an absolute thriller as the Jags get their first ever win over the Lancers 20 to 14. This game, that football program absolutely changed the landscape of more league football because after that, it was completely different with the changing of the transfer rules and everything that happened with Cabrillo after Jason Brown left. So this was really the high water mark for Jason Brown, Cabrillo football, 
and the Moore League. Certainly for entertaining personalities, it was <laughs> right at the top of the list. And uh, obviously the rest of the country now knows uh, about Jason Brown because of Last Chance U. But, you know, we just were at football practices and games listening to this dude uh, give monologues. And uh, I'm sure there was an epic one with probably a little bit of dip spit after this win over the Lancers. And we're not sure the next time we'll get a whiskey mogul as one of the football coaches here in the city, but we sure enjoyed it while it happened and it led to a lot of entertaining and exciting football here in the city of Long Beach. We love doing these classics. We love reliving those games because we aren't getting games right now, but let us know which video you'd like to see in our next throwback 562 classic call. Email us, tweet us, comment, whatever it may be. We love doing these and let us know what you want to see on the next 562 class.